Hello everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia back with another video. Now this is completely out of my comfort zone, but because of quarantine, I am stuck in the house and I decided to partake in doing some nails. So here you see a hand from Red Iguana that I ordered online from RedIguana.com. And this is the half practice hand. Her name is Liza or Lisa. And I'm just going in and removing old polish that I had on here for doing the previous set because I have been playing around with these nails for a couple days now. This isn't really a tutorial or a look and learn. I don't know exactly what type of video this is, but I just wanted to show you guys um, my progress, I guess, of trying to do nails. I don't know if I want to offer this service in the salon because I actually um, have worked in a nail salon before. I actually did that before I opened my salon a long, long time ago, fresh out of hair school, and I just decided it was not for me. Um, but I do feel like I should, you know, not get comfortable and continue to grow. So I decided to start learning how to do nails again. So a couple of you guys saw, I posted this on my story on Instagram. You guys requested that I post the video. So here it is. Um, I'll probably link everything down below that I use. There's no particular like steps I took, I'll say. I just kind of followed the basic guidelines from cosmetology school and from watching a ton of YouTubers. And this is the set I did. So if you want to see this crazy journey, then continue watching and please feel free to um, give me constructive criticism um, and just let me know what I can do I guess to make the application better because I was struggling and I did not glue these nails on because I didn't want to mess up my hand but for the most part it wasn't terrible I'm learning how to work with this as I go and I'm gonna I plan on trying to do this at least once or twice a day so that way I can just get better at it and you know have some new content for you guys And I'll just throw this in there for those of you that do care to know. I will throw in a couple steps I did. So basically, I double tip these nails because I did not want to glue them in. So I just size the tips first. I place them inside the nails to make sure they fit nice and snug. And I put them as far back as they can go, making sure that they still cover the nail bed when they were all the way in the front because they are tapered because they are stiletto nails or ballerina nails. So it tapers at the end. Um, I should have done this with probably square nails. But anyway, I went in with the tapered nails. I filed those down, stuck them in as far as they can go. Then I put glue on them and then just applied the tips on top. And then I filed the tips down so that way it can pretty much prepare for the acrylic. So that's what you see me doing here now. And I'm just using my file, making sure that everything is nice and etched. Just want to get rid of the shiny surface is what, is what I'm told and what I'm learning. But please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing in this video for those of you that want to try this. I don't know why you would want to try this, but <laughs> I'm going to throw it out there for you guys anyway. So this is how the nails look when I'm done. So far so good and like I said they're double tip which is why you see the smaller nail underneath. That's the one that's the furthest back in the nail bed and then you have the one on top that I'm actually going to be applying acrylic on. So I have this um, nail dust collector that I got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it. And I'm just going in with the 180 grit file and I'm just filing off the shiny layer of the nails. And now I'm just going in with my e-file, which I got off of Amazon, I'm showing you here. And if you can't already tell, there's an Amazon trend. Guys, I have ordered so much stuff from Amazon since I've been in quarantine. It's ridiculous, so please don't judge me. <laughs> so I'm just going in with this file. I'm changing the sanding band on here because I have used this previously. And now I'm just putting it on that third um, red square that you saw. I'm sorry if it was bad in the lighting, but I just put it on there. And that's the speed I'm using. It's pretty much the lowest speed. And I'm just using this to file off the shiny part of the nail and make sure it's nice and smooth. So 
So I want to know, guys, what new hobbies or things have you guys been doing since you've been in quarantine? And are you guys still working? Are you essential? Are you home? Like, comment down below what's going on because I'm curious to know what everybody else is going through. Me currently, I'm at home, but of course I'm doing YouTube and other things online um, as far as income goes. And then I also have my three children at home and two of them are school age. So balancing work and school and my husband, he's in the army. So it's just like a lot going on right now, but I'm really loving this little nail hobby. Like it's keeping me sane right now. Can I get an amen? <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys have been doing. Comment down below. So I always just dust the nail just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and then after I dust the nail I'm just going to pick it up and look at it from a different angle. This will pretty much be like the client view and other people looking at your nail view and I do this just to make sure that it doesn't look crazy from any angle like it looks good from every point of view. So I have these acrylics that I'm using from this company called Valentino Beauty Pure that I saw online. And um, I just decided to order a couple acrylics and some nail liquid just to play around. And they were only, I think, $10 each, so why not? So I'm just pouring the monomer liquid inside of the dapping dish. And then I'm using the Panna 12S brush that I ordered online from beautycom.com. And I'm just gonna go in and start to apply this acrylic on the nail. And I did play with the acrylic previously and I'm just picking out some of that um, crust because the liquid in the powder had made like a big crusty spot in my dish and I'm so mad. So make sure when you dip it in the acrylic, you're not pushing it on the walls of the acrylic or the sides because it can drip down into the acrylic and make it super crispy and that's what happened to mine. So that's a no-go.
That's why I smoke, boy. That's why I smoke, boy. That's why so boy. And I don't even know who I thought I was right here. I think I started getting mad confident, like, okay, I got this. And look, the acrylic on the wrong side of the brush. <laughs> I did this like twice, and I'm like, how is this happening to me? Like, what the heck am I doing wrong? But just make sure that you take your time. Anything, make sure you take your time. I think after like the second nail, I was getting kind of like, all right, this is taking long, so let's rush through it. And that's why my nails started coming out kind of janky. But we're going to fix it when it comes to the filing. That's why so boy. That's why I smoke, boy. See, wrong side again. Like, I just cannot win. <laughs> so here I'm just adding more acrylic on all of the nails that I feel like needed more strength or like more thickness. And I was also trying to create an apex, which I don't even know what the heck I'm doing when it comes to that because... I've been in so many nail groups on Facebook. I'm just trying to do everything that everybody's saying. So yeah, this was just literally me playing around, trying to just do something amazing. It low key came out okay, but I definitely can improve on this. So in my mind for this nail, I wanted to do pink at the top and then just have the very tip of it be clear and have like some of that glitter that I got. I also signed up for a thing called Nail Boxy. So I got like some of this glitter. I forget the name of it, but I'll link it down below. I just want to use some of it and put it inside the nail and encapsulate it with the clear. So that was my thought, my thought process for these nails. And yeah, um, let me know if you're feeling this down below and comment, I guess, the nail designs you guys have been doing. And if you guys are starting to do nails or any other hobbies. So this is how they look once I'm done applying the acrylic to my liking. And now I'm just going to go in with the file. I'm going to put it on that third setting again. And I'm just going to go in and start filing these nails down and creating the shape. I like to go on the top, on the sides to make sure it's nice and crisp, and then I like to go underneath to create like a kind of like a C curve. That's what I smoke, boy. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm just going back in and looking at the nails from different angle and also making sure that they look pretty decent from the front, back, sides, all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna go in and file the nails and I'm just gonna dust away all the excess powder.
So now I'm getting ready to encapsulate the nail. So I'm getting ready to take out my clear acrylic and then I'm also switching the nail brush to a different brush. So I'm switching to my eight panda brush. It looks exactly the same, the only difference is it's a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna use that to encapsulate the ends. So I'm putting on the McCart nail glue. Um, I haven't tried to encapsulate nails probably since hair school like 10 years ago. So I just put a little bit of nail glue on and then I just started placing the glitter on top. I probably could have done this several different ways. So yeah, if you know a better way to put glitter on or encapsulate nails, just let me know down below. Cause like I said, I'm still learning, but I want you guys to kind of see my progress as I get better. Cause you know, once your girl set her mind to something, it's a wrap. So I'm just putting the glitter on there to my liking and then I'm just gonna go on top with the clear acrylic pretty much file these nails down and then I'm just going to make sure everything looks nice and smooth and I'm just going to do a top coat and this is pretty much the end result um, so I'm just going to let you guys rock out and finish watching the end and yeah thank you guys so much if you made it this far for watching my little nail journey um, this is just something to keep me occupied like I said <clears throat> excuse me during quarantine so yeah I hope to see you guys in my next couple videos and let me know what content you guys want to see do not forget to hit that subscribe button and follow your girl on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. And I will see you guys in the next video.